Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hello here. The very beautiful face. <laughs> how you guys doing? How was your night? Or how was your day? Huh? Most likely, how was your day? Maybe your night, depending on where you live. But anyways, so I've decided to come here today and share my morning routine with you guys. My skincare morning routine, especially. Because, let me not even lie, I do not really have, like... A morning routine you know people that wake up exercise do this do that nah i i rarely do those things right but basically i wake up i do school drop off i have my bath and i edit or film or whatnot that's it like there's no routine like i have people that do every other thing for me so i really don't have to do anything in the morning and even the editing my assistant edits for me as well these days so i just try to free myself as much as possible i don't like work <laughs> i don't like work that being said i'm going to be sharing with you guys my skincare routine because the morning one because it's very different morning and night because i see your compliments even though i feel like my skin is not at its best right now i feel like i have had better skin but obviously you know you keep going i'm going to share with you guys what i currently do and what i don't and all that good stuff okay but let's start from making our bed at least we can do that this duvet is actually supposed to have a duvet cover right but i just didn't bother and the main reason i didn't even bother is the fact that changing duvet covers yeah yeah i just threw this whole duvet inside the washer and dryer like every other week i just threw everything inside and just wash it again nothing much um this adana's pillow adana slept here yesterday like she literally she really did not have to sleep here but i was missing my daughter i just went and carried her brought her pillow and kept it here so yeah she was in between my husband and i but it is what it is okay guys so i'm ready to have my bath now and let me first of all show you guys my cleanser i would normally do this in the shower but i'm showing you guys here today so recently since last month i started using this um cosrex low ph good morning gel cleanser so here it is um i feel like all the cleansers i've used the past few years are kind of the same thing very gentle cleansers and um so before this i was using the la roche posay um, i'm going to put a picture on the screen and then before the la roche i was using the cerave which is this one right here the foaming cleanser so this is a brand new one i've not started using yet and um once i'm done with this i'm going to switch back to this um because yeah for me they are all good being gentle is what is most important for me in a cleanser so i normally wet my hand put some on my palm a lather and then you know apply on my face Okay, so at this point, I actually will hop into the shower and have my bath, then wash my face last. I kind of let the product to sink in and do its thing, and then I wash my face last before I get out of the shower. Moments later. Okay, so straight out of the shower, I just use tissue to pat my face. I dry the rest of my, my body, but I just use tissue to dry my face because that whole having a face towel that I have to wash every day, like, it's not for me. So I normally just use a clean tissue to pat my face dry always like i've been doing this for years now always fun fact any day i bring out a new towel like that day and that moment only sometimes morning and night shall let me not lie but usually that moment only i would use the towel to clean my face but after that yeah that's it once it cleans the rest of my body it cannot go back on my face okay so the next thing which is the first thing i normally do you guys my lips are so dry we'll get to that later for now just pretend like you cannot see it the first thing I normally do is go ahead and use my vitamin C. So I have a quick story to tell you all. So I normally, um, okay, so when I started using vitamin C ever years ago, I started with this rather beauty one, which I absolutely love. Like my face was glowing, but then I stopped seeing it and it became expensive and I just also stopped seeing it. Then over the past like two years, I've used so many different brands of vitamin C. The one I was currently using is this Advanced Clinicals Vitamin C. So this one. If you see you see that it's somewhere here like i've been using it now for a few months but finally i just asked myself why have you not gone to amazon to stock up on this rather beauty so i ordered it again from amazon so this is it now so i'm back to using it it's just my day two going back to it so i'm going to give this one to uche to you know start like i normally give it to my skincare products that i don't use anymore like i can't i can't stand this white lips like i can't stand dry lips so 
I'm just going to use one of my body oil to just keep it at bay right now just to get to the lip parts <laughs> so with vitamin C I'm just going to massage this in so things get interesting right here so after vitamin C I normally use hyaluronic acid so if you guys can see this one is the one from the ordinary like this is the ordinary hyaluronic is empty like I've, I've, I finished this bottle and I didn't see it to buy so I actually started using this snail um, advanced snail mousse powder essence a big power essence yeah so I actually started using this but right now I've stopped this not because it's not good just because of the single fact that I prefer my hyaluronic acid so after my vitamin C I go on and use um, this Astorwood hyaluronic acid anti-aging serum so I'm going to put the links in my description because I got these things from Amazon so this is what this one looks like and I absolutely love it so I'm going to be using this one on my face hyaluronic acid basically brings back moisture to your face and um, it helps your face stay very hydrated like yeah it hydrates your face let me just that's the right word to use hydrates your face very well so I'm going to rub this in I feel like people look at me and feel like I do a lot when it comes to skincare and the next thing I do is just to go ahead and moisturize my face so I have two moisturizers right now um, that I'm alternating the first one is this simply vital collagen retinoid and hyaluronic acid moisturizer anti-aging and recovery cream the name is a lot so basically this one right here but this is quite new even though like I feel like mm, my face likes it because my face is not reacting my face is looking good I don't have any like fresh fresh breakouts anyway so this one but this one has um retinoid and hyaluronic acid and collagen which I mean they're all good for your skin and then I have this one which I absolutely love but this thing is so hydrating that when you finish applying this you guys are going to see in a minute because I'm going to use it your face will look like you just soaked it in moisture so this is the Costrex Hyaluronic Acid Intense Cream guys when I tell you that this shit is intense best believe it's intense so um, yeah this is the cream let me just show you guys how drawy this cream is so when I open it up yeah so usually this one with collagen retinoid and hyaluronic acid i prefer to use in the night um and i alternate actually i don't use this every day so i'll use this one in the night today and then use this one in the night tomorrow that's the costrex one then i use this one like that and i also started using faded i feel like i'm talking too much <laughs> but i'll show you guys all that in my night routine when i do my night routine god help me but yeah so the days i use faded i don't use this because this has retinol and you're not supposed to use it at the same time i'll explain later when i do that video but anyways i moisturize with this and you guys this shit is moisturizing like i feel like i've even put too much i can feel the moisture i don't know if you guys can feel this or see maybe later i'll change the position of this camera so that you guys like can you see the glue can you see like I can just feel it okay so after that i go in my sunscreen right now i'm using the la roche posay um sunscreen what's the name of this one they are fluid invisible sunscreen anyways this particular one yeah this particular one right here i just talked up on this and i love it i have i've been using it for years it got too expensive i switched to this aqua skin i'll be skin aqua this one but let me not lie to you i don't like this shit like i used a few bottles enough to, uh, bottles enough to know that i don't like this shit it's too basic like i don't know i don't even feel the protection i don't know just something about it but people seem to love it though but just my personal opinion i just wanted to go back to the things my skin loves and the things that my skin we're already used to and just things that work for my skin so i normally like i'm over generous with um what's it called sunscreen this is a lot though. This sunscreen is very watery. And of course, good old Vaseline for the lips. It can never fail you. It can never go wrong with Vaseline. It leaves a white mark, but yeah, just always remember to remove that. And then for my body, I use a combination of this Dr. Teal's body lotion. I use the citrus one. So this one I'm using right now. Even though I use the oil more, you guys can see I like I prefer oils on my body. 
and this is a Dr. Till's Deeply Nourishing Coconut Oil and it also has like jojoba oil, sweet almond oil and cocoa butter for lightweight moisture in bath or after bath. So this is what I use more often like I don't mix this with this sometimes but sometimes I mix it together. I don't have time to apply this and lock the moisture in with this. I ain't got time for that shit okay. So most times I just press this in like just press it and then pour oil inside. My dog is barking. I apologize. I know some people said oh mix it together in the bottle when i do that i don't feel the oil again so i prefer to mix it this way that way oops yeah that way i get the um what's it called consistency that i'm going for and i just use it my body okay you guys that is it for my skincare routine it's very simple it's very basic i feel like if you're new into skincare these are steps you can actually take and i should also mention that i seriously don't have um like problematic skin obviously my skin acts out from time to time let me say i don't have problematic skin on my face on my body yes i'm sure throughout this video you guys have been seeing like uh, what's it called acne scars on my chest um yeah it's something i battle with from time to time i remember i made a video like a month or two ago where i said i was going to be trying out something for my body acne i'm still in the process i feel like it's getting better the scars are also fading and new ones are not really coming out like if you can see you see that mm, from time to time one or two new ones will come out but like nothing drastic right now so i've always battled body acne it just comes and goes and i'm not even bothered to be honest but when it comes to my face um i don't really have problematic face like can you guys see my face yeah when it comes to my face i don't really have problematic face so that is why my steps are very simple and minimal i don't want to start something i cannot finish i don't want to start the one that when i stop my face now becomes bad so everything i use on my face now they are basic which is why i also don't like doing skincare routine that often but i've gotten a lot of comments about my skin thank you guys you guys are so nice i just wanted to come out here and share this with you all so i changed the position of the camera so i'll show you guys my skin better from this lighting yeah as you can see my skin is glowing okay <laughs> glow is not our problem here i do have a few spots here so i have hair that actually comes out from this you see this spot i say one two i think there are three or so that hair keeps coming out from i'm just going to go and laser that shit away because it's annoying and it always leaves black spots so at least seven eight months in a year you're going to see a black dot here here and here somewhere here on my face not so much here just sometimes it comes up here but for the most part my skin is glowing the glow is from god <laughs> it's not from all these products i just showed you guys yeah guys that's that for my skincare routine i hope you guys enjoyed i'm just going to dress up now and go and get to work i have a few videos to film today but yeah if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer down below um hopefully one of these days i'll be able to film my nighttime routine because there are some things i subtract and at night is when i exfoliate and treat my spots and all that good stuff but yeah i started trying out some new products especially for my night routine so i'm going to try and use them for like a month before i do that routine and hopefully by then some of my scars will be faded yeah i can share my progress with you that being said i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys